Hello everyone, I'm Phantom2502 and welcome back to another episode of my Satisfactory Let's Play Update 4. This is episode 70. In this episode we're going to get our electromagnetic control rods uh, automated. Uh, hopefully it's a short episode and we'll keep doing some hard drives. Uh, yeah, uranium fuel unit, we'll do that. Alright, hard drive. There we go. As usual, we have made room over here for storage for our electromagnetic control rods. So that will be stored there. Uh, we're going to build it in the oil section, so let's go to the oil section now and do that. Um, also, we'll change a little bit on some of the items in the game. Or sorry, um, so for the uh, nuclear setup, we do need some concrete, um, some uh, beams, not steel beams, but the uh, enhanced beams. Uh, the enhanced beams, we have enough extra right now. Concrete, not so much. Uh, so we'll increase our concrete over in the oil section so we get some excess. Um, that, that should do well. That does mean next episode we're going to have to uh, make a, uh, a tractor connection between our main base, I think, and our uh, nuclear facility. That should be okay. Yeah, this will be the last element, and then we're going to go nuclear after this. Uh, I think we're going to convert everything on the main base to use the one coal node that's local to free up the other coal node, and that'll free up the tractor. Such as it's, it'll be nice to have a coal node available for the uh, nuclear facility area for its local build. All right. Okay, let's see what to do first. All right, let's just get concrete going first. So we have we already have enough water. We calculated that. Um, I don't remember if it was last episode or the episode before, uh, but we know it's about 500 and something, low 500s. So this will only increase the water by 25, so it'll be about 550 total. So we should be fine. There we go. Um, all the belts are level 2, so that should be fine as well. Yeah, we shouldn't have any problems there. Um, I've upgraded the belt to level 5 after the uh, merger here going up. So, that should handle anything we want there. I don't need any oil help. So now it's just the Caterium section. In the Caterium section I've added this programmable splitter and right now it's diverting stators so it's right before the Caterium line merges in and basically it will now be able to divert any item over to the beginning of the Caterium line so when we expand we can put anything over and I put it at where it was so that um, doesn't interfere with any of the splitting before then. Alright, so it comes down here and then it splits the stators this way 
this was already the AI limiter splitter, so I just added a second line. This is the electromagnetic control rods. There we go. I can find power. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? I kind of want to pull it a bit closer. Now, this one I do not want 100%. We only have two and a half stators, so we're just putting it at 41.6%. That's 1.667 electromagnetic control rods. Uh, we'll use one for nuclear for now. We're not going to run uh, nuclear at a full percentage. We don't need that much power over at the moment, and then we'll scale it up as we need to. And I know that we'll have some radiation in that area, uh, but we can use our iodine filters. Oh, yeah, and hazmat suit, which we have never built a hazmat suit. We will build, we'll get one, uh, I think probably next episode, because next episode, uh, I'm hoping, with all that done, next episode should be able to actually get nuclear running. I think that's going to be the plan next episode. Alright, so that's that run, concrete, yeah, this isn't even going to be a long episode at the moment. And is that it? Let's see if there's anything else that's going on. I guess might as well do some stuff live on screen then. I mean, we're only at seven minute video, it's way too short. Okay with short videos, but I uh, kind of want a minimum of 15 minutes long. Alright. Now right, let's go back to the main base. I guess first things first will be... Yeah, first things first at the base will be uh, coal. So I really want coal to be off the just one coal node. But first we have to calculate how much coal we're using in our main facility. I think after nuclear 2 we'll um, expand our power storage. Also, by reducing the percentage on the power plant, we should reduce the waste that way. our calculator. And calculate all the coal use. Now we don't have to worry about 
um, I don't have to worry about the belting um, because for the middle floor we know that it, if, uh, for down here if it um, the local belt will overflow to the other belt before it hits anything anyways so uh, we have mechanisms already in place to handle this all right how many do we have one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and they're at 15 each so 15 times 13 195 all right um let's get a ma'am up I'm running all right what do we have super state computer cool uh, yeah, it looks like it's the only thing useful. Let's get that. And put another one in. Okay. So 195 for the power plants. And it's 45 a piece here, I think. It's 45. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7. This one's not on. Well, 7 at the moment, but let's add in the 8th one anyways, because we, we are planning on using it at some point. Five times eight. Five fifty five. Hmm. All right. So then it's just in here. So these two are seven point five each. Seven point five times two plus. 25. I th think that's it for down here. We're at 595 total right now. Well, hmm. It is a pure node, but we only have level 2. Oh, we might not even be able to do this. Let's minus the 45 that's not in operation yet. So that brings us down to 550. Now there is some coal that comes this way, but kind of only ad hoc. Alright, so as long as we had a surplus, I mean, yeah, we have a container. Don't really have to count this one. It's 37.5, but let's not count that one right now because it's only when we man do manual and we don't do it that often. We have storage to handle intermittencies. Alright, um, so it's just fuel then now. So 550. I think we need it under 600, so... Yeah, so we definitely can't activate or expand the coal here yet until everything is complete. Then we have a web of coal stuff. Coal center, any undefined left. And that any undefined will help when we change... Um, we change the, um, the routing of that one vehicle to do our nuclear uh, there and back. Yeah, and we won't even change the belting. We'll just use the second part and then merge in with this one. Cool. Okay. 
Ooh, the only thing is, is... Hold on. No, no, no. We do have... Cold Belt sends it there. Merges there. With... Right, that's true. We have it, the coal split both ways, so... The other one will do everything. Neat. And... Okay. Right, because that one comes from... Right, the main line. That's that. Right, now one goes there, goes down there, and then splits... Okay, so that will work a bit. Let's see, how many... Now, we know it's 11, right? So, this has one dedicated. It has one that is half, so 0.5 times 11. And then it gets 0.5 times 15 for the truck. 574 coal per minute. Um, obviously, any of the extra, the 26, can be used for the manual. Um, yeah, we can't activate that extra one downstairs. Good thing I, I kept a minimalist build here, because that's just enough. Um, the only thing is, oh yeah, I'm going to have to update to level 5. And I only have 144 aluminum sheets. Yeah, that's one thing we definitely have to do. Sorry, yeah. We gotta get some Alcat aluminum sheets for upgrades. Then we're going to have, the only thing we're going to have to build is a new um, tractor station uh, to pick up items uh, from here and then, hmm, not sure how we're going to reroute the one thing because it's pretty tight as is. Not sure. What are we here for? Oh yeah, I'll get a little more shades. Alright. There. Okay, that'll build us what we need and put some shards in it. That's as good as we can get. How much energy does that take? A lot. Alright, we need to improve the belts. Gonna go off here. Okay, it's an MK1 belt. Yeah, it doesn't need to be any faster than that. Alright. 
point six hundred a minute into the middle. Um, yeah, did that belt need to go be anything more than level one? No, it needs about eleven. Probably use like twenty something. Yeah, no, it's not close enough to sixty to even worry about it. That's the one to the main base coming in from. This is going to it. Yeah. Don't think I need that either. And you know what? We'll just upgrade it anyways. Level four. And that should get everything going that we need. All right. Uh, that splits with overflow, and that'll get everything we want going to where we want it to. Go. And I just thought of it. You know what? It is merging off the main line. Let's at least be consistent with that level 5 into a level 1. Alright. So now we'll just go to the MAM and see uh, what hard drive the hard drive has brought us, and uh, we'll end the episode there. There's one more research in the man to do, but I need to kill a few things with alien organs in order to actually unlock it, so. There's a few things there. But yeah, next episode's definitely going to be getting nuclear. Online. Alright, what did you bring me? Steel screw. Don't need it. Instant scrap. Hmm. I guess instant scraps really the only thing. Although I don't think that's an efficient recipe at all. Alright, we'll do that. Let's just look at the power consumption. Uh, at least the generation of power is a bit smoother. Uh, consume around 5,000 something. Obviously, we don't have any of our manual stuff going. Max capacity 56. We're still doing good. We're still running under under the line, even under the low one, around 5,900. All right, all right. We should be good, I guess, for a while. That's only ran slightly, it looks like. Okay, so uh, that'll be the end of this episode. Um, thanks for watching me get my electromagnetic control rods online. I'm Phantom2502, and... Next time, we are going to get nuclear power um, up and operational with the drones. Um, hope you guys join, are able to join me next time uh, for that episode. I'm Phantom2502, and see you next time.